Ms. Berner, you didn't tell Senator Graham the truth, did you? Senator, I sw took an oath to tell the truth, and I have done so faithfully. Now, on February 22nd, 2018, you spoke to the American Constitution Society, and this is what you said. The right to work movement is deeply racist. You said that, didn't you? Senator, I do not have that speech in front of me. I have spoken on a number of occasions about the history. You turned the no your notes over to us. You didn't read them before you turned them over? Senator, I have spoken on a number of occasions about the history. I was not speaking about... Are you saying that you didn't say that? Senator, I have spoken on a number of occasions about yes, the history. Are you saying that you didn't say that? If, if I have turned over all of my notes from my speeches. I don't think you're telling the truth, Ms. Berner. Let me, let me ask you uh, another question. Do you remember Mary, or rather Mindy Sturgey? No, sir, I do I'm, not remember. I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed you don't remember her. She was one of your union members. She alleged that she was the victim of... Uh, sexual discrimination at one of her, uh, one of your local unions. This is what she said. She alleged that one of the executives there asked her, quote, if she enjoyed rough sex and bondage. She said that the chapter president, Mr. Dave Regan, asked her, quote, does the carpet match the drapes? And, quote, what would you do for some jewelry? Uh, she alleged that uh, Mr. Regan told another staffer, quote, that the only way she is getting a job is if she sucks my member of the male anatomy. Another employee said in an affidavit that Mr. Regan, quote, went around asking women if he could sniff their panties. Close quote, at an October 2017 work party. She said another executive, quote, grabbed my upper thigh while I was driving. And she wrote you and asked you to investigate. And you said no, didn't you? Senator, I have dedicated my career to representing women and families. That has been my work. You said no, didn't you? Senator, you told her that, the, that, that let her own chapter represent uh, or investigate its own misconduct, didn't you? Senator, I'm going to give you additional time, but I want the witness to be able to fully answer the question. Senator, the letter that you are quoting from, I wrote in my capacity as counsel to my client. It was the position of my client, and I was an, acting as an advocate. You refused to investigate, though, didn't you? Senator, I believe that I have faithfully adhered to my obligations as an attorney for my client. I don't think Ms. Sturgis would agree with you. In fact, Mr. Reagan, the chapter president, is still the president, isn't he? I believe, you don't even know? I, Dave Reagan is the president of one of our local unions, of one of wow. SEIU's local unions, yes. Wow. Mr. Mangi. I just want to be sure I understand your testimony, sir. 